Some of the most powerful stories are about the extraordinary, of course, and some of the most extraordinary among us are, if we're being honest, not human, yes. but dogs. Yes. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, has a story about what it really means to be a good dog and a good neighbor. Meet Gaia, a husky with a story to tell about how when one life ends, sometimes an even better one begins. In Dallas, Texas, Gaia's life was confined to that tiny backyard. That's because her loyal owner, Sandra, was hospitalized. The next door neighbor, Lisa Canarak, noticed that the nine-year-old female looked lonely. So she offered to walk her. I walked in and then Gaia came up to me very slowly. And then I said, oh, hi. And then I, what's your name? So I had to look down at her tag and saw it was Gaia. <laughs> one walk turned into three weeks of walks. Come down here. And then one question Lisa was not expecting from Sandra's dear friend, Gilda Levy. Two weeks before Sandra died, she said, I don't know if you've thought about this, but would you like to take her? And what did you say? Sure, I would love to. So when the time came, Lisa was summoned to Sandra's home right next door. The 80-year-old neighbor she barely knew was gone. She had just died. So I just clipped her, her leash on, and then I said, okay, goodbye. She walked Gaia from Sandra's home into hers. And from that moment on, Gaia's life changed. Good girl. Good girl. Lisa Gaia. wanted to get Gaia out more. And she yeah, noticed on walks around the neighborhood that Gaia was so calm around children. So she and Gaia enrolled in and passed a pet therapy program. I can tell when I put on her vest, she's ready to go. Right, Their first assignment was Children's Medical Center Dallas. Here was an elderly dog who rarely ever left Sandra's home, now finding a home with Lisa and in the hearts of these young children. Dogs are like the best thing that ever happened to me, like in, the, in this hospital. You're missing some more, Gaia. Oh, wait, there's more. Lisa thought the piercing blue-eyed beauty would be just right for another kind of therapy, hospice. It just so happened that when Gaia's owner died, Lisa was finishing her training to be an end-of-life doula. You're pretty good to have around. Today, she and Gaia minister oh, to the terminally sweet. ill. You are precious. Good morning. Wow, what a beautiful dog. Oh, thank you. Hi. Are you doing all this for Gaia or for you? Oh, that is a good question. I think that I... That's a good question. <laughs> Let me think about that. I think I'm doing this for both of us. I think it benefits both of us. She gets to go out and see people, and I get to see the response that she gets when she's out. There's just nothing better than that. Gaia's life changed when she became part of our family. Gaia has brought this writer out of her shell, so much so that Canarac wrote about their life together in an essay for the Washington Post. My life is different, too. Meeting dozens of people during our visits has brought out the extrovert tendencies I lost during the pandemic. Before I knock on each patient's door, I breathe in, then greet families with confidence, knowing the reaction my sidekick will receive. Readers loved it. Crying happy tears. Thank you for sharing this story. Love that there are still good people out there in this world. As we pass through the halls of Children's Hospital, I think of Sandra and hope she's smiling knowing how much joy Gaia brings to everyone she meets. I'm trying not to cry. Why? It's, I don't know, it's just, knowing the effect she has on people, it, it makes me happy, it makes me sad, because I wish I had known Sandra better. But I think this is the way that I'm helping to keep her memory alive. <laughs> As Mr. Rogers used to say, look for the helpers. Well, Mr. Rogers, here are two of them. <laughs> I love this story because it's a great reminder of what being a good neighbor looks like.
Yeah, but it also a good dog. This is what dogs do, though, unconditional love, and the difference that it makes when you, you have a dog in your dog. You can, you can see it, and I love that I, I, you can tell that it it's, it's really is benefiting them both, David. It's more than just Guy. It's also benefiting her. And I love her 100%. headline. I didn't know my neighbor, but I took her dog when she died. Wow. Very Changed powerful. both of their lives. I see that. Yeah. David, yeah. awesome stuff. I have to and say, guy is beautiful. That guy coat, is beautiful. Yeah. Doesn't look like an older dog. I mean, that coat is luscious. You got a spring yeah. in her yeah. step. We were just talking off camera about me watching yep. volleyball matches during the weekend, and they told me to tell you that they love your stories, and this is one of the reasons why. Yeah. Well done Thank again, you. David.